man is just ready to come up. He's just yes. primed. He's, he's inspired. Up. He's fired up. I think he's high, too. So Always. we're just going to get him right up here. Give it up for Evan. Chaperin. Chaperin, everybody. Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Next week you'll get it. It's the yes. third time. Yes. I believe in the, the magic number is three. Third time? Hold on, i got to get rid of this COVID mic here. Um, not you, but all the other comics. I shared a mic with you last week, so we're already infected, if that's the case. Um, all right, guys, so uh, I'm going to talk right now. There we go. So I, I just wanted to... Uh, Oh gosh, that was a very bright light. I'm high, I'm always high though. So it's almost like if I wasn't high, you guys should would be like, is that guy high? So anyway. I'm talking to, I'm just pretending it's a full room. I'm acting like it's a full room. Why you look like my buddy Dave with this lighting? When I go like that, it goes away. But now oh Dave, no Dave. Crazy. Oh, you mean crazy? Cringer, totally. Yeah. You knew. Wow, well, it's funny because it's really it, the fact that like, uh, like maybe like that's why. I don't know. Like but the, the yeah. I don't know if you want to look thanks for my friends from Burning Man came. Uh, they ain't come from Burning Man, but yay Burning Man. Technically, we're all from Burning Man. Um, <laughs> so I took acid at Burning Man. Can you tell? Uh, I accidentally got puddled, which if you guys don't know. It means when somebody gives you a huge squirt of liquid acid in your mouth, and not just one drop from a liquid dropper. So like you get in one drop, and then you're like, ooh, ooh. So it's like a puddle in your mouth of acid. So I've never been the same since then. Um, yeah. Is that right, Gilbert? Yeah. He agrees. He won't stop pointing at me, though. Um, Gary didn't like that joke. Bob, Bob and Don, what? Don, shut the fuck up. Anyway, my point is, I haven't been the same since I took the acid. Um, but I did realize that um, uh, you can really learn a lot from it. Uh, basically, I ended up DJing naked at the Dr. Bronner's hot tub, or bathtub. So you guys know Dr. Bronner's is soap? It's so cool. It's Jew soap. It was invented by Jews. We invented it great so. Organic juice soap. Armenians can use it too. Any genocide, any group who's experienced genocide can use the soap. Okay? It's a terrible thing. The soap is amazing. Genocide is a terrible thing. I think we all agree. Anyway, we're all bathing naked. Just hundreds of people, just naked. Cox, pussy, yeah. everything just flopping around. Soap. Like, like cattle. We're in these big baths. I'm DJing naked. Do you guys know who Alex and Allison Gray are? They're famous artists. Yeah, that's a mess. They're there, naked, painting. All the naked people. So it's just fucking, it's like inception of naked people. Just naked people <laughs> painting, naked people being naked. And then I'm DJing with my friend Steve from Fort Knox 5. Great group from DC. Fun to people. DJ, I look up and I see, I'm sure it's Rosario Dawson. But, but I, I also, saw her burning that. Yes. Sure. I think of my own ass. Well, that can't be Rosario Dawson. She's waving at me. She's waving at me, too. And, I, and this story. Like a and so, oh, it was, so it's not. It wasn't me. She's just a waver. She's so beautiful. Just she's one waver. of the most gorgeous women I've ever seen in my life. And I've had a crush on her since I'm like 14. Since kids. And, it, and it's weird because That's it's from kids. kids. So she gets raped and then gets AIDS. It's so hot. Or no, she didn't get raped. Uh, Chloe got raped. She has consensual sex. It's less creepy. And then she gets AIDS. Still, just so turned on. Anyway, the point is, I look up. I need 10 minutes for this story. Um, I look up. Who's on next? There's not even anyone else here. Well, let's Who are you really giving me one minute? It's just us. Okay. Well, let me, let me okay. I'm ruining my last minute. I'm just fucking. Okay. I'll let you finish. When Felix, when Felix comes in. Yeah, yeah. We gotta get that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So, 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 I was just making a joke. Uh, hey, hey. You're lucky you're my friends. <laughs> you're lucky you're my friends. I brought my own hecklers. There's only comedians here, and I brought two hecklers. I just really want to just fucking practice, guys. Let's get it in. We have the, the gauntlet. Can I get some screaming waitresses? Ah! Somebody just vomiting right here. That would be good. 
Uh, so basically, I look up, Rosario Dawson is waving to me. She's saying, she looks good, she's happy. She's happy. Basically, she asked me to, she goes like this, come over to the shower. My buddy goes, you should go shower. She wants you to go shower. I go, there's no way she's asking me to go shower. We're, I've been completely new. And this is true, I'm not making any of this up. And on acid, and DJ. She goes, so he says, go shower. I walk over to the showers, the Bronner showers, and then I like look up because I think she's gonna be spraying the soap down on me still, because she's doing everyone else. So I look up, and my buddy's next to me, my buddy Brandon. And we're like, where is she? And then they're like, three, two, one, spray the foam. Just like white peppermint foam, it smells amazing. Hot desert in my eyes. I wipe it out of my eyes, they're burning. And I'm like going like this, and I turn around, and my dick like hits someone's thigh, <laughs> and I look up, and fucking Rosario and I are fucking locked eyes. And she goes, Isn't this amazing? And I went, Yeah! And I turn around, because they're all spinning, and then my buddy and I locked eyes, and I, he goes, Rosario and And I went, I know, No fucking shit. And we're turning around. And then I turn, and yeah, this is how awkward it was, like that. And I turn around again, and, and she goes, and my dick like accidentally hits her like butt. And I look down, and it, I've never seen my penis so small in my entire life. It was, it looked literally like um, a, a turtle trying to hide inside of another turtle. It was just like, it was, it was just like basically like Trump's dick looks uh, like, like Stormy Daniels describes Trump's dick like just the mushroom tip. I, it was acid dick is a thing. It was like beyond acid dick. I can't even describe how small my penis is. And I was just talking earlier about how big it was. So you understand this is not something I'm used to. So I can't say a word. I go back to DJ. Go back to DJ. Um, I'm just like totally flustered. My buddy's like. What what happened? I was I, I said I I we I like I'm doing right now just uh, in an acid mouth. I couldn't talk. My my buddy's wife comes up. She goes, "You need to go say hi to Rosario." I go, "I am so high on acid. I am not going to say hi to Rosario Dawson." She goes, "I'm taking you," and I, she grabs my hand and forcibly makes me go talk to Rosario Dawson. And basically, I walk up and I, she goes, this is my friend Evan, and I go, hi, Rosario. And I, she goes, oh, that was so great. I love that common and Stevie Wonder remix you played. And I went, thank you. <laughs> like, just like that, and I could barely get out, Aww. thank you. And then she goes, um, what's your playa name? And I was like, everything. And I just literally stared just to the right of her eye line, just to the left of her eye line, you're right. And basically, I get back to camp later on that day. I find a postcard on my bed, because you can send postcards and mail to people at Burning Man. So I get the postcard on my bed, it's this beautifully written, and just this amazing penmanship. It smells like woman's perfume. It's just like amazing. And I, I look down and it says, Evan, I missed you. I came to your camp to say hello. Your friend's wife told me where your camp was. I really wanted to just say how great it was to meet you and how much I loved your music. Here's my number. If you're ever in New York City, give me a ring. I would love to hang out. And there was her number. And I kept that postcard on my fridge for a year before I worked up the nerve to call. And I called the number. And Rosario Dawson did not answer. My friend Brian's girlfriend, Madison, answered. What a cunt. And what a cunt it be. <laughs> yeah. You know, the only way I'm going back to Burning Man is if I get to fuck her on top of Robot Heart. Well, listen. We have friends of it. She's, she's Rosario, we're coming for you. I just, no, I, I'm no, a. Madison, Madison. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. I, I just. I, I was booked to work on Ahsoka and the day got canceled because of COVID. And I'm just really waiting for the day that I get to see her on set and not mention Bronner's because that would be inappropriate, but just say, I was the DJ 
from Burning Man. Remember me? I was the DJ at Burning Man. You can say, you could just say, I, we met at Bronner's. That's it, guys. I appreciate that. True story that I'm working on. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Melissa. Give it up. Really, like, you're amazing to do this and, and help us pop this out. Can okay, I help you? Thank you. Can I use this as a sex toy? Sure. Sure. I want to use your if the, if the mic fits, oh, our mics just touched tips. All right. That's hot, that's hot. <laughs> Let's hear it for Evan. You really, my name really fucks you up.